so our website has been published you can see ali slnk dot tk that's where it's published it's https that means it's secured um and the entire website is published and ready for you to browse around hello guys this is your boy ali slanki and today we'll be talking about how to make your very own portfolio website you can actually use this method to make any website of your choice but in this video we'll be focusing on making a portfolio website from scratch and completely for free you can go about this in two ways first is by using a website builder for which you don't require any coding skills and here we'll be particularly using google sites which is completely free but you can also use other website builders like wix shopify wordpress and so on the second method however is to use templates that i'll be providing to you in which you can use your web development skills and change it to however you want it to be we will also be learning about how to host these websites and also on how to get a domain address for free as well so without wasting any more of your time let's get right into making your very own portfolio website let's look at the first method at hand and that is by using google sites for that let's go over to my laptop screen and check how to create your very own portfolio website So here we are on the laptop screen and here as you can see I'm there on sites.google.com this is what we'll be using for making our portfolio website so as you can see there are a lot of templates right off the bat we have uh, event we have help center we have uh, restaurant salon we have lot of things uh, club student portfolio as well but what we'll be using is the normal standard portfolio but before i do that before i make my own uh, portfolio website right from scratch uh, we'll also be looking at the domain part so as i said in the uh, start of the video i'll be showing you a way to get free domains if you go over here and search for any name say for example i want to buy um, ali slnk okay so let's check its availability and see if we have that so all of these are completely for free they are uh, worth zero dollars so let's just get this ali slnk dot tk uh, we have selected it and let's go over to checkout page so this is uh, the website freenorm.com okay so that's where you can uh, buy domains from we'll also be connecting this domain with the um, portfolio website so make sure to stick around till the end to see how i connect it so we selected for 12 months this is completely for free and we we'll continue it so this is completely for free i've read it and complete order also remember you'd have to sign in to your account so yeah you'd have to sign into your account uh, make an account on this uh, website and you'd be good to go so now in the services part uh, let's go over to my domains and check if we have that so yes we have gotten ali slnk dot tk uh, as our domain and the registration date date is uh, of today and we have it for free for one year okay so this is our domain that we'll be connecting with the Google sites that we'll be making. Uh, other than that, I also want to touch upon uh, this hosting website, which hosts websites for free. So you can check this out, uh, infinityfree.net. Other than that, you also have GitHub pages, but the limitation is you only get one site per GitHub account. Even my portfolio website is hosted on GitHub uh, currently. So I'll also be sharing the entire code for this website. Uh, that was the second part. So this this entire code is going to be shared with you for free. Uh, and it can be found on this particular website. So github.com slash Ali Solanki slash portfolio. This is where you'll find my entire code of this portfolio website. You can change it however you want and uh, you can deploy it by yourself so this is the entire template for it and yeah you can make it your own so now let's go over to google sites and make our own portfolio website from scratch so let's click on portfolio and start making and designing our own one so hi um 
Ali Salanki. I'll change it to Ali Salanki. Let's change it. Um, a dash rule from location. I don't want that. You can change it however you want. Um, I'll be keep, keeping it very simple. And I am Ali Salanki. I like this font. I don't want this image. I'll add another image. Upload. And let's search for an image. Um, let's go over to portfolio and add this image. So once you've added it, you can uh, select where you want to keep it. So I'll be keeping it over here. I think this looks good. Okay. I also want people to know what I do mainly. So I'll be adding a text box, which will um, basically define what I do. So developer starter and creator so this is what i particularly do and i'll align it to the middle and let's change it to a heading and let's see so i want to keep it at 24 okay now it looks good and i don't like the color so even oh and by the way i can change this as well you can add your own logo here but i'll be keeping it to my name and for the um themes let's select a better theme than this let's select this this looks better and yeah i think uh i need to change the color of this so let's change it to not a normal text maybe a subheading and change its size so maybe 224 now it's now it looks good now it shows that okay i'm a developer starter and a creator after that we have um selected work uh, so you can add all of your projects i don't have so many projects right now so i won't be adding them i'll just delete all of these things um i'll be adding some uh, kind of a project not a presentation so let's see let's add an image so upload an image and i'll add this image so the name of the project is show world so that's a project that i'd be working on show world app um and an and a video as well so i can even select it from youtube directly so let's see let's search for ali Solanki and the first video that pops up maybe i'll add that okay creating 100 million uh, worth cryptocurrency let's add that and name it as cryptocurrency okay so these are my books and uh, i can even change the background so let's see let's upload an image or select it maybe select it and let's see let's see uh, i think this looks good even this is better let's select this okay so yeah this looks good uh, I think the font size is uh, too small. I'll increase the font size to 24. Even this font size needs to be increased to 24. And there we are. Our two selected works are already published. But of course, you'll be adding your own projects over here. Uh, this is just for demo. And apart from that, you can even add in your email address over here. So say, for example, I'll add in Ali Solanki uh, at one to three at the rate gmail.com. So that's my email address and you can contact me there. Uh, so that's it. That's all uh, there is. And you can even uh, change the about page. You can change all of these things. Uh, you've gotten an idea about it. So now you can uh, change the work experience, clients and everything, education as well. Uh, you can even add in new uh, project pages. Uh, these are the different projects that you can add. Uh, you can just directly add an image over here. You can describe about it. You can do all sorts of things and if it's clicked on next uh, next project there'll be another project as well other than that you can also add new pages so here you can do what you can do is uh, you can select uh, this page and make a duplicate page of it say for example i want project two 
so this is a new project maybe i don't want this uh, i want a better header so i'll add this and there you go i don't want this particular section and you can describe your project and add in all sorts of images and do all sorts of things that you want to do let's now deploy this website and we have already gotten this uh, domain so we'll connect it with our already made uh, website so let's publish it custom and let's click on manage let's start the setup uh, we've already bought the domain uh, we don't want to buy it um, enter the domain so ali slnk dot pk so this is the domain right so this is the domain so here we need to verify our ownership so let's just verify it uh, click on verify your ownership um, now freenom is not there so let's just select other and add a cname record we'll click on that and here we are given with the cname records so let's just add that in our domain so we are there on freenom right now we'll manage uh, the domain so once we are here we can go over to manage freenom dns now we'll just add in the records so you can go over here you can select the cname label and uh, paste it on the name just make sure it's not a it's c name yeah this one and uh, the target the target is the next line so just copy it and paste it over here so save changes and let's see so the record has been successfully added uh, we have the name and the record so everything has been done we've uh, done our part and we'll just click on verify so once your domain has been verified now it usually takes around one to two hours for this verification to happen uh, and once it's done you can again go over to google sites and start the setup once again so use a domain from a third party click next and then uh, enter your domain which is this and now it will show a checkbox so just click next and you will see a bunch of steps again so now it is the time to add in the hosting uh, c name so now what you have to do is just copy this thing and go over to freenom and manage domain we are doing the same thing again uh, manage freenom dns and this is the last step so i've already done that uh, i've already added this particular c name record but if you want to do that just uh, write www over here uh, add in c name and paste the target that we had copied right over here okay and then press on save changes and it'll be added to your uh, dns management and records so once you've done that uh, we'll go over back to our um, google sites and press on done so once it's completely done you will see our domain uh, listed over here and you can uh, copy this domain address and directly just go over to any browser and search for it so our website has been published you can see ali slnk.tk that's where it's published it's https that means it's secured um, and the entire website is published and ready for you to browse around so yeah that's it and uh, if you like this video then do press the like button do subscribe to the channel and if you create your own website do comment it down below as well i'd be happy to check them all out